She commandeered the room in the basement of her dorm as soon as she realized she would have to pull an all-nighter in order to prepare for tomorrow's final exam. Her roommate, Jenna, liked to get to bed early, so she packed up everything she thought she would need and went downstairs to study. And study, and study, and study some more. It was two o'clock when she realized she'd left one of her textbooks upstairs on her bed. With an overly dramatic sigh, she rose and climbed the stairs slowly to her third floor dorm room. The lights were dim in the long hallway and the old board creaked under her weary tread. She reached her room and turned the handle as softly as she could, pushing the door open just enough to slip inside so the hall lights wouldn't disturb her room. The room was filled with a strange metallic smell. She frowned a bit, her arms breaking out in chills. There was a strange feeling of malice in as if a malevolent gaze were fixed upon her. It was a mind trick. The all-nighter was catching up with her. She chuckled to herself as she thought this. She could hear Jenna breathing on the far side of the room. A heavy sound. Almost as if she had been running. Jenna must have picked up a cold during the last tense week before finals. She crept along the wall until she reached her bed groping among the covers for a stray history book. In the silence, she could hear a steady drip, drip, drip sound. She sighed silently. Facilities would have to come to fix the sink in the bathroom. Again, for the third time this month. Her fingers closed on the textbook. She picked it up softly and withdrew from the room as silently as she could. Relieved to be out of the room, she hurried back downstairs collapsed into an overstuffed chair, and studied until 6 o'clock. Finally, she decided enough was enough. If she slipped upstairs now, she could get two, three, a couple of hours of sleep before her 9 o'clock exam. The first of the sun's rays were beaming through the windows as she slowly slid the door open, hoping not to awaken Jenna. Her nose was met by an earthy, metallic smell a second before her eyes registered the scene in her dorm room. Jenna was spread eagle on top of her bed against the far wall, throat cut from ear to ear and her nightdress stained with blood. Two drops of blood fell from the saturated blanket with a drip, drip noise that sounded similar to a leaky faucet. Scream after scream after scream poured from her mouth, but she couldn't stop herself any more than she could cease wringing her hands. All along the hallway, doors slammed and footsteps came running down the passage. Within moments, other students gathered in her doorway, and the ones of her friends gripped her arm with a shaking hand and pointed a trembling finger to the wall. Her eyes widened in shock as she saw, and she fainted into her friend's arms. On the wall above her bed, written in her roommate's blood, were the words... Aren't you glad you didn't turn on the light? <laughs>